Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how to calculate the second moment of area of this particular triangular shape. And this time we're going to actually do it with the double integral so you can see how that's done. Now the general formula, since we're going to do it with respect to the y-axis, is that the second moment of area with respect to the y-axis is the double integral of x squared dA, where x is the distance from the y-axis to our area element dA. Now our dA is going to be dx times dy. And the equation defined right here, it's a slope is equal to 3, so you can say y equals 3x. So what we're going to do is we're first going to integrate our dy, so we're going to rewrite this as i sub y is equal to the integral of x squared dx, and we'll worry about the limits later, times the integral of dy, and dy is going to be integrated from, well, from this point to this point, this point here, y equals y, and there, y equals 9. So the limits are from y to 9. Let's go ahead and integrate that. This is equal to the integral of x squared dx times y evaluated from y to 9. When you plug in the upper limit, you get 9. Subtract when you plug in the lower limit, you get minus y. So this becomes equal to the integral of x squared dx times the quantity 9 minus y. Now you can see that you still have a y here when you have a differential of dx. So we have to replace this y by the 3x over there. And the limits then, since we're going to integrate over dx, is going to go from 0 to 3. So the limits will be from 0 to 3. And this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of x squared dx times 9 minus, instead of y, we'll write y equals 3x. Now everything in the integral sign is in terms of x, so now we write this as the integral of 9x squared minus 3x cubed, all of it times dx, with limits from 0 to 3. Now we're ready to integrate. This becomes equal to 9x cubed over 3 minus 3x to the 4th over 4, evaluated from 0 to 3. And notice that this 3 and this 9 simplify to 3 over 1. And when we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. We get zeros. We only need to plug in the upper limit. So we get 3 cubed times 3, which is 3 to the 4th power, which is 81, minus... Here we get 3 to the 4th power times 3. That's 81 times 3, which is 243, divided by 4. Now 4 goes into 243 about 60 and 3 quarter times. So this is equal to 81 minus 60 and 3 quarters. And that means we're left with 12, 20 and a quarter, which is equal to 20.25. And units again, if this was in standard units, we end with meters to the fourth power. And so that's the answer that is called the second moment of area of that particular triangle with respect to the y-axis. And it's in terms of meters to the fourth power. And that's how it's done.